There's the first one in the stop net there for Simon. And more ferrets are introduced. Like I say, this is a very large earth and the holes go some 20 to 30 yards out into the field. It's bolting. We're in the second week of February. We couldn't come on this sporting estate until the pheasant season had finished. It would have been better for us if we could have come on a month earlier. We've got two dogs working there. Megan, who's the brindle, is Mike's dog, three years old. And we've got Honey, which is Phil's dog. Honey's just a pup at one year old. As a cameraman, when you're filming, it's easier for me to keep an eye on the dogs. The dogs give a, a good indication as to when a rabbit's going to bolt. But it's a big earth for the dogs to cover as well. Well, some of the ferrets, ferrets haven't shown for a while, so what we're going to do now, we're going to actually box up a few of the ferrets as they show. We're going to box the ferrets up, then out with the locators, and try and see where the last few ferrets are. We've obviously got to dig somewhere in there. Is inevitably, you'll get a kill. There's another one in the stop net. One for Phil this time. There's different schools of thought as to where your dog should be. Should you hold your dog right back or should you let the dog work the bury freely? It's a matter of choice. There's advantages and disadvantages in both. If you hold the dog back, it might not be there quick enough to catch the, catch the rabbit. Is that the one we're looking for? No, there's one more. The uh, an, an elderly Jill. An elderly Jill. Al Albino Jill. That rabbit, long hit, ferret. Boy, Simon, quick. All I can say is thank heavens for the camera, man. The disadvantage of a dog working over the top of a burry though, is sometimes you'll put the rabbits back and then they become reluctant to bolt again. Different people use different...